Welcome to 5 Minutes in the Word, a daily devotional in the Word of God. Today on 5 Minutes in the Word, I want us to turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and start in verse 50, and I want us to talk today about victory. Now, it doesn't matter what your hobbies or interests are. It doesn't matter if you're into sports or you're into farming. You can be into, into dog walking or dog showing. It doesn't really matter that usually speaking, uh, in whatever our hobbies or interests are, there's usually some type of competition. There's usually some type of tournament or showing or something in which that someone is going to be crowned the victor. Someone's going to, to win that championship, win that trophy, lift up that prize. You know, someone's going to win. And so we understand this concept of being uh, victorious and of winning. And we need to really put that in our brain when we talk about our Christianity because in Christ Jesus, we can have hold of that victory. Uh, Christ has won that victory and we can be victorious in him, but we have to live for him. We have to be in him. We have to be obedient to him, live for him. Uh, and then we can obtain that victory that is in Christ Jesus. And so today we're going to look at 1 Corinthians 15 and verses 15 and following. And we're going to talk about our bodies and we're going to talk about heaven we're talking about a lot of things that's going to point us into the right direction. It's going to point us heaven bound so that we can uh, you know, grab hold of that prize and hold on because that's what we need to understand as Christians. You know, that victory can be had in Christ and we need to grab onto it. We need to hold on to it and we need to live for him forever. It says, now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. So this, this body is, you know, cannot, is going to inherit the kingdom of God. Nor does corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in a, the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised incorruptible and shall be changed. For this corruptible must uh, put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. And so this fleshly body is going to decay. It's going to rot. Uh, you know, s some of us are even going to, to perish uh, and to die before the Lord comes back. And so we understand this. This fleshly body, it is, it is our tent. It is our you know, vessel we're in right now, but we are going to be changed when the Lord comes back. So so it says, so when this corruptible has put on incorruption and this mortal has put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your sting? O Hades, where is your victory? Because here's the thing, in Christ Jesus, not even death can overcome us because even if we die, we can still uh, be raised to live with him forever uh, in the judgment. And we need to understand this. We need to grab hold of the victory that is in Christ Jesus that, that we can be you know, with him forever. And this fleshy body, we don't have to worry about it decaying. We don't have to worry about it going, now it, it hurts. It doesn't feel good. But guess what? This life is not uh, what matters. Now it does matter how we live. It does matter if we're being faithful and obedient, but in the grand scheme of things, in the, in the eternity, that's what we're shooting for. We're shooting for that eternal home with him in heaven, and so we need to understand that. It says, the sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. That victory belongs to Christ. It's in him. It's, it, it's from him. And we need to understand that because if we can be in him, then we're going to be in that victory, and we have hold of that victory, and we just need uh, to stay faithful to our God. It says, therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. And that's where it comes down to us. Here we are. Christ has done his part. He has won the victory. He's coming back to take those that are faithful to take us home. And so right here, right now is, is where, you know, the rubber meets the road, as they say. We have to put in the work, put in the effort right now. You know, I know a lot of people are into various hobbies and activities. Uh, when I was a kid, I played a lot of sports. I played a lot of baseball, basketball, you know, soccer and various things. And guess what? If you don't put the work in, uh, you're not going to be victorious. Yeah, you might get lucky sometimes. The other team might not be very well prepared or equipped. But guess what? You're not going to win that ultimate prize. You're not going to win that championship unless you put in the work. And the same thing is true in a, in a far better, greater sense in our Christianity. If we're not willing to put the work in now, and to be you know steadfast, to be immovable, to be abounding in the work of the Lord, then we're not going to be ready when the Lord comes back. And when that judgment day comes, you know, our eternal place won't be with him. So let's put the work in now. 
Let's do everything we can to be faithful to him, to be obedient to him, to be, most importantly, in him, to be in Christ Jesus. That's where the victory is at. We need to grab hold of it, hold on to it, uh, and be steadfast forever. And one day, yes, when the Lord comes back, we're going to have that eternal home with him in heaven and to be able to live with him forever. And so let us all stay faithful, do the work, and just keep on, keep our eyes focused on heaven, and let's keep on working.